shit. If y'all see, we on the road, man. Now, what does that mean? I don't know if y'all really caught what I said yesterday, but I said something about going to Charlotte. What's in Charlotte? Carowinds, maybe? I don't know. Maybe we got to go ride some rides. But either way, we got a little ride to go. So I'll catch y'all when we there, man. All right, y'all, how y'all doing, man? I told y'all I'd get with y'all when we get here, man. We about five minutes out from my boy crib. Hey, I, I think I told y'all yesterday they went to the crib already, but I think there's some there's some nice looking water. I'm about to cross over this bridge. Don't know about y'all, but I really, I find beautiful water just so awesome, bro. Hold up. Just look at all that, man. I love beautiful water so much. Oh, I just drove by a cop. That's awesome. Put on the vlog. What up, vlog? We're at Carowinds today. <laughs> Oh, excuse us. Excuse We're us. at Kerwin's today. <laughs> We're matching with the sunglasses and they don't got nothing on. They're going to hate like heck. They're about to hate. Oh, yeah. oh they're going to hate like bad. But you know why we don't care? Because we're too cool for school. Too cool for, too cool for school, bro. It's a day off. We out, bro. So how you feeling about today, man? I'm chill. You ride that blue one, Alex. You ride that blue that one. Fun? I want to ride that blue one. Is that the wind Windseeker? No, wind Windseeker. Let's go. Windseeker's the one. Ah. Afterburn. We gotta do the afterburn today. Alright, y'all just finished the intent. I remember. I just finished the intimidator. Y'all tell me why I didn't even realize it had a new name. They call it the Thunder Striker. What the world is this? The Thunder Striker. Where's the intimidator at, man? I ain't growing with no Thunder Striker. I'm behind my boys right now. They in there. I gotta see if I can show out the pictures, y'all. We just had some. It was crazy. I don't know if they let me take pictures or show it. Hold up. Can you see us? It's right there. It's right there. Like, that's me, huh? <laughs> Look at me. Oh, I see it, buddy. Look at me. Yeah, that's nice. Alright, y'all. It's for the first ride of the day. What's what's the rating if we get the first ride of the day? Rating of the first ride of the day, I'll give that a smooth seven two. Okay. What'd you give? I give it a smooth eight. It was just it was it's like, a good warm up. It's fun. Good warm up. You know what I'm saying? Not tall at all. Not too big of a drop. You know what I'm saying? Really light. Honestly, I don't think any ride is really difficult. You know what I'm saying? All light. I sleep on a ride for real. I might sleep through this next one, honestly. I'm just waiting for the Fury. Nah. I'm just waiting for the Fury. Nah. You think I can do it? Yeah. I, I bet I can fall asleep in the Fury. I'm so for real. We got God, bro. We ain't worried about nothing. You know what I'm saying? How, what, what I got to fear? If I fall, I'm going to start flying. I'm going creative mode. If I fall out this day, I'm going creative mode. Okay? Trey and Gutierrez are on the way here. They they had to ride separate from us because yeah, Qu Jojo Quay Quay Gutierrez is uh, currently on his way. The third is on the way with TP3. The third, wait. Uh, let's get their rating. Let's get how they felt about that ride. Let's see how they're doing today. So, uh, what's the rating, my friends? That was great. All right, for warm up, what's the rating? One out of ten. Scariest thing I've ever had in my life, bro. Uh, Scariest thing ever. It was like a good three out of seven. Wait, what? You got a seven? That was off. That was bad. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I haven't met him yet. Are you doing good? You go, oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Dang. Dang, you get a black guy on the camera. First thing you does is throw the fit. Oh, my gosh. This is our people. <laughs> hey, this is me for I get to show the fit. Show the fit. Yeah, mid. Uh, what's, the, what's the fit? What, what brand is this? What brand is this? What brand is this? You don't even know. Panda. Panda? What brand? What's the brand? What's the brand? Uh, Paxa, Nike. Nike, the New Balances. New Balances. Yeah. Hot yeah. 50s. Yeah. Westbrook. Yeah, uh, Maxis. What the fuck is this uh, man? That's a lot. Huh? That's a lot of spin. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> Cyclone. Oh, we gotta go over here. So, what's the rating of this? How's the experience going so far? Joey. The experience? Yeah. Um, vibes? Good food, trash, walking, trash, rides good though. So it's good. What else are we gonna do other than walk though? Fly? Yeah, I mean, I would, but like that's just me. Cyclo, you're in a fast lane, buddy. I know. I'm him. I'm him. Thanks, hey, T. He's gonna jump in in five seconds. Promise y'all. Hey. Or bye. Yep. Told you. Just hijacked the vlog. AB No Limit is about to ride the drop tower.
Yeah. On video, is you asking to hold on to a big man's muscles? Why the? Why are you scared? What are you scared of? It's very tall. The Fury? 325? Yeah. 325 stands for what? 300 feet. 325 feet of pure wrath, anger, fury. All right, y'all, we just finished the, the fury, the wrath, anger, and fury. We just finished it in. Ready? It's fantastic. It's, it's a new. All right, come on, come on. It was pretty good. It was like nine We could just have a whole group of viewers. It's good. This. My whole channel just. No limit mute. No limit mute. Well, what's your rating of that ride? Like what? What's your rating of the ride, you know? As you, uh, how, I give how, it, uh, how did it look watching? How did it look like? Uh, I give it, uh, from a distance, you know, I can really feel it, you know, the vibrations in the air. Uh, uh -huh. So I already know how it felt. So you didn't have to ride it to know it was like, it was good? Exactly. Hey, hey, and that's what makes a good ride, you know what I'm saying? Like you can look at it and know it's a 10 out of 10. You don't even gotta, that's how he has fun watching it. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what makes it, it's better watching, honestly. Let's do the Vortex, bro. All right, we just got done waiting in the Nighthawk line for over an hour just for our boys to hate on it and not like it and then leave. So, you know what I'm saying? Now we're. I like it. Yeah, I, I, I thought it was fun. Did you, I like you, it. you still enjoyed yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Trey, Trey like enjoyed it. it. Yeah. Trey enjoyed it. Just yeah. You know, some people don't like rides. You know what I'm saying? My eyes. My eyes. Oh, no. Light skin, man. It's hard to see, though. Give your best life ten face. What are we doing now? We're about to leave, but we're trying to get some food. It's been a good. Have you enjoyed your stuff today? I wish I could show them rides and stuff. Wish I could have saw the rides, but I had to leave my phone in my bag, or else my phone would have gone flying off the thing. You just gotta hold it tight. Hold it tight. I've done it. The recording be like. I've done it before. Me alone. Cause I die every time. Alright y'all, we've left Carowinds, man. We've left Carowinds. We're on the way back. I just dropped Connor and his brother off and Elijah all uh, Elijah all the way back um today cribs. Hey, back on that water again. What a beautiful sight to see before I leave. So yeah, I went and um dropped them off and now we're on the way back to Brevard, man. It's been a great day. Look at the sun setting, man. Look at God's beautiful creation. I mean, literally on my drive earlier, I was driving down here by myself. I'm driving back by myself, but I was, it was sunny outside this morning, so I could just look and I was like, man, God, I was just looking at all this creation. I was like, dude, like, this world is really beautiful. You know what I'm saying? So I'm appreciative for this day. I thank God for all that I've been able to do today, and I pray that y'all are thankful just for the fact that you are alive today, man. I pray all y'all are having a fantastic life experience, and that y'all are taking advantage of this free will and this this thing God has given us. And one thing that we have to understand is taking advantage of our free will is not taking advantage to sin. We're taking advantage of the fact that we have the ability to live. You know what I'm saying? I think it's, a, it's amazing that we have the ability just to, to make the right decision. You know what I'm saying? I love that I have the choice to do that. So I have the choice to choose God. And because I choose him, he gives us life and life more abundantly, man. Find joy in that. Nah, this might hit the pocket right now. Amen, man. Oh, uh, first, check out the meal, check out the meal. Mm -hmm. You probably want yeah, to buy a soda cup. You know Lately, I've been drinking like my drinks halfway and saving some of them so I don't have to buy a drink next time. It's been a money saver. So anyway, it was like blue hey, tapping with devotion with the markets every day gets you good devotion in. Kind of like when you come here. Don't you know the Bible says be strong and courageous? <clears throat> Bible says, be strong and courageous. Joshua, the first chapter, the ninth verse. It's the uh, Christian Standard Bible version. It reads, haven't I commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Be strong and courageous. These commands go together. It doesn't say just be strong, nor does it say just be courageous. What would be the point of a tiger's strength if it had the mindset of a mouse? What would be the point of a mouse? Oh, that's needs for y'all. <laughs> so sorry about that. Uh, but what would be the point of a tiger with the mindset of a mouse? It would have all that strength and no courage nor confidence to approach the situation nor its attacker nor its prey if it had the, the mentality of a mouse. 
because it would rather hide. It would rather run away. It would rather be prey than the predator. It has all the strength, but not the mindset to use it. So strength does not go without courage. Same way courage does not go without strength. Because we all know little chihuahuas. Chihuahuas, man, they bark at everything that goes by, man. Think about, think about a little barking chihuahua, man. All bark, no bite. Because if you look at them, they ain't got no little strength to them. A little chihuahua can bark all day they want to, but they can't do nothing about it. So what is the point of having one without the other? You need both. Strength and confidence go hand in hand. That's why the tiger is one of the most dangerous predators there are in this world. Because it's strength and confidence meet each other and they work in accordance. Now I want to jump with y'all to the chapter of the day. Isaiah, the 35th chapter. I want y'all to read verses 5 through 7 with me. I'm tripping. I mean, 3 through 5. Forgive me for that. <laughs> Verse 3 says, Strengthen the weak hands. Uh, steady the shaking hands. Say to the cowardly, Be strong, do not fear. Here is your God. Vengeance is coming. God's retribution is coming. He will save you. Then the eyes of the blind will be opened and the ears of the deaf unstopped. You know, I'm going to take you through these three verses. <clears throat> Verse three, let it be known. It says, strengthen the weak hands. Number one means, it's talking to God here, by the way. It says, strengthen the weak hands. Number one, we need God to strengthen our hands. Man, we are weak on our own. We need him to be our strength. And then it goes on to say, steady the shaking knees. When you're shaking, you're usually fearful. You're usually scared. It says, give you strength. And what I think I love about this order is it first starts with strength. Then it goes on to confidence. A lot of people don't have confidence because they lack strength. A lot of people are fearful because they lack the faith in the fact they have the ability to come out of the situation. Because a lot of people fear their situations because of the lack of whatever they need to get through the situation. But for Christians, we are not to worry about our worry about our situations at all. God tells us not to fear. He says, be strong and courageous, but not in of ourselves. Man, I go to the gym every day. I'm a strong young man. I won't lie. I ain't the strongest in the world, obviously, but I'm a strong young man. I know it. But I understand that my physical strength is far behind the strength in the, in, in the spirit that I have from the lower. And that they will never be able to touch because the strength I have of my own is weak. Man, I'll tell y'all something, man. I'm a, I'm a person. I can, sometimes I get my feelings hurt. You know what I'm saying? I do. Come a man. I'm a man just like, all, like the rest of you. Man or woman, no matter what you are, we are human beings. And I get my feelings hurt sometimes. I got limits to things. You know what I'm saying? But... And that's on my own. But in the Lord, I have peace. In the Lord, I have strength that passes understanding. For I, my strength only goes so far. But the Lord makes it clear. He says, be strong and courageous. Our strength is not of ourselves. The strength that we have is from God. We rely on him to be our strength. And because God is our strength, the hand that he, he, he has given us strength in, our, 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 as it says here in verse 3, the shaking knees will no longer shake because we are confident in his strength. That is where our confidence is meant to be placed. A lot of our, us are egotistical. A lot of us are prideful. And because we have strength of ourselves, we may be rich. We may be, be a king or have some type of authority. We look at the strength that we hold. We look at our muscles and say, oh, goodness, I'm strong. But don't understand our confidence is not in ourselves. But it's in the strength that God has and the strength that we have access to being Christians, being, being children of God. You know, it's like when you're young, your father want to protect you. You know what I'm saying? And your father's big and bad. You know what I'm saying? You're just a little kid. You all weak. And you were you, you took pride in your pops. Why? Because you know your dad has strength. And if anything problem, if anything happened, you can run to dad to be your refuge. But a lot of us don't want to treat God the same. Not understand that he has promised to be our refuge and strength. Psalms 46 and 1, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Refuge and strength. I mean, that means no, God is our strength, not ourselves. And because he is our strength, we can have confidence in him. And when we have confidence, we can apply that strength. But if we don't have confidence in the strength of God, then how can we have any access to the strength that he wants to display in our lives? God wants to use his strength to help us overcome things. God wants to use his strength 
to help us through things. God wants to use his strength to put us, put us in places and situations we couldn't place ourselves. But how can God put us in places that if we don't have faith in him? And the big thing is a lot of us are not confident in him. And I believe you have confidence by faith in his strength. That's why we cannot have faith in ourselves. We cannot trust our own strength because we are humans. We are imperfect, which means our strength is imperfect. But God's strength overcomes all. Verse 4 read, Say to the cowardly, be strong, do not fear. Here is your God. Vengeance is coming. God's retribution is coming. He will save you. And I wrote down, I said, leave it up to God. He never fails. So why leave the burden in your hand? Because if our Lord never fails, then we must understand as men and women, man, we fail. The tiger is a big, bad animal, man. And that thing fails sometimes. The lion's a big, bad animal. And sometimes it loses. Our strength as men and women is, is futile and is fleeting and it's inconsistent. There's always somebody bigger and better. But with God, there's nobody bigger. At the end of the day, we can have confidence in him because he has made it clear that he will do his all for his people. But we must be confident in him that we may see his strength working in our lives. Verse 5 says, Then the eyes of the blind will be opened and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then the eyes of the blind will be opened and the ears of the deaf unstopped. I believe when God's people, when God's people begin to rely on his strength, we will grow in confidence in him because we will see, we will see his strength in work. But, you know, as men and women of Christ, I've talked about this so many times, we are meant to be ambassadors of Christ, looking to show, looking to be examples, being, looking to be representations representatives of the faith how are we supposed to represent our faith if we lack confidence in the faith that faith that we claim to believe in we lack confidence in god's strength we lack confidence in his ability to make change in our lives and that's the big reason change is not occurring we lack confidence in the fact that he will help release us from the sin that has hold us captive we lack strength in the fact that, that the, the, the addict can turn into, into sober. We lack faith in the fact that the one who was dying can be healed. We lack faith and confidence in God's abilities. We have to understand that it's not our strength that we rely on. Because if that's the case, then true. I'm with you, man. Lack, man, I would lack confidence too. Because I know sometimes I slip up. But because I understand my strength comes from God. And he can give strength to the weak. And he can bring stillness to the shaking in the knees of the coward. I will be confident in him because I understand his strength surpasses my understanding. We must be confident in God. Because how can we be leaders if we ourselves are unconfident? Can you imagine somebody telling you? <laughs> how, how in the world can I walk up to somebody and tell them that, that Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life? I'm not truly confident in the fact that he is. If I'm not truly confident in the fact that he really died, if I'm not truly confident in the fact that he can raise me from the dead, if I'm not truly confident in the fact that he has forgiven me, well, I'll tell you right now, I'll stick my chest out, look you in your face and smile and let you know I'm confident wholeheartedly. And because I'm confident, we can see his strength in the earth today. Because confidence is seen. It's in your walk. It's in your pep. It's in your step. It's in the way you talk to people. If you're truly confident in Jesus Christ, which means you truly believe, then your beliefs will be shown. People have to say faith without works is dead. And that has nothing to do with salvation. But it has all to do with the way that we live our lives day by day. Because if you truly have faith, you must show that. You must show that and look to do the Lord's work. Your salvation is secure in Jesus Christ because you have faith. And now that you have faith, works, fruits should be evident in accordance. Because now that you have faith in him, you should want to do his will. And when you do the Lord's will, fruit will be produced. And a big part of doing his will is being confident in the fact that there is a will to do. Because if you're not so confident in the fact that he can do it through you, if you're not so confident in the fact that, there, that he's even real or, or that he can do what, he, what he's called to be done, then man, nothing will be reduced. But if you have faith, if you are confident in that strength, 
like we said, like a tiger. It will go hand in hand. But otherwise, you will remain the barking chihuahua. Otherwise, you will be a tiger with a mouse's mindset. But you have to choose to be that beast, that predator, that one with the mindset that is not of their own, but of God. Because again, our confidence is not in ourselves. Our strength is not of ourselves, but in God. So as you walk through your day-to-day -day life, when life tries to get the best of you, when things are getting tough and difficult, remember your strength is not, you're not relying on yourself. Go to God in prayer. Call on him and say, God, I put it in your hands because you are my strength. And then be confident after you pray that it's coming to fruition. Be confident in every step you take that whatever the Lord has proclaimed of your life will be done. That is what confidence looks like. And that is what it means to have faith in the Lord's strength. And, and because the Lord gives you strength, when you walk into battle, when you whatever you do in life, whatever you're doing day by day, know that you have that ability because you are not alone. God is with you. So no matter who stands before you, you are not. You are never the loser. As long as God is with you, you are the victor. So stand there in confidence and prepare to see his mighty works in your life today. Let us pray. Father, you said be strong and courageous. That is a command. So it's not it's not a maybe. It's not a, uh, should I do it? Should I, how can I do it? No, it's a command. So God, let us search and seek you that we may find out how to be strong and courageous. And as we read your word, Lord God, we see your strength. And Lord God, you make it clear that your strength wasn't of the past, Lord God, or of the old. Lord God, it's something that is forever, Lord God. And because it's forever, God, we can see it in our lives today. So we put our hands out, Lord God, looking to receive the strength, God. Looking to receive your love, Lord God. Looking to receive, Lord God, your blessing and your indwelling in the spirit, Lord God, upon us and our lives. And I ask you, Father, as we walk this life, to not let us be distracted, but let us focus on you and, and not our situation. Because our situations, Lord God, can look big and bad, but we understand our God is bigger. So it is your strength we rely on, Lord God, and your strength that we are confident in. Because our confidence, Lord God, our confidence is, in the, is all because of the belief of the fact that your strength, Lord God, is truly as strong as it is. So we have faith, Lord God, and because we have faith, we will walk day by day in confidence in your strength, God. So, Father, we say that we love you and we thank you. We give you our all, Lord God, and we raise your name on high. It's in Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we all pray. Amen. Amen. Y'all enjoy that vlog. <laughs> Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I pray you enjoy that vibe, man. Hey, no limit. Say that I stay, they coming back. They call me Alex at the crib, but they be on the track.